Thank you for tuning in to this semi-final match from the U.S. Open Crokinole Championship, a National Crokinole Association event. Today we have Whose Hammer Is It? Ron and Paul from Ontario, Canada versus from the Charleston Crokinole Club, the Holy City Flickers, Ben and Joe. They'll face off and the winner will go to the finals. Ron looking for a countdown for the beginning volley. For which team decides who has hammer? It looks like the Holy City Flickers have won the volley and will opt for whose hammer to shoot first. Whose hammer will not have the hammer? Ron scores an open 20 to begin. Joe up next. And comes up short. A few options here for Paul. He could be looking to come up the left side for a 20. Or if he wants to keep it away from play, that side for a simple off and unfortunate catch of the pegs drains a 20 for the opponent team. Ben not quite getting the off, but keeping his on the board. Ron now shoots two of their discs in the 20. Holy City Flickers with hammer advantage in a decent spot right now. Very nice roll to the other side in between the pegs, not giving Paul a lot to work with. Nice push from Paul, though, getting his disc up into the 15, leaving a not super easy shot for Ben. A few options here. Looks like he's going to go for a very thin slice and just misses the shot. The blue disc ricocheting off a peg and stopping his from going in. Very good attempt, though. Ron looking to push his own. Just misses skipping out of the hole. Lots of options for Joe now. Either angle in. Ben is suggesting maybe a backboard off the disc. Joe opting for the angle in, and he gets it. Very nice shot. Going up one in the 20s cup, and with hammer advantage, this is a great spot for them right now Paul not getting the off lots of blue on the board right now but Ben will be making short work of that gets the touch not the off looked like he was going for a 20 there and just came up a little bit short Paul also Ron also not getting the off Joe now to shoot looking like he will be going for a double Gets the single off, so that's good. Still in a very good spot here. Red and blue. Even amount of discs on the board, but red with more points and up a 20 and with hammer. Paul and Ron have their work cut out for them. Paul looks like he will be pushing through his own. Looking at the very least to get the opponent disc off and almost pushes his own disc into the 20. Comes up short, maybe a hanger opportunity for Ben here, and he scores it. Going up two in the 20 cup. Three to one for 20s. Ron now, oh, rotten Ronnie! Catches two pegs, gets the off, and drains a 20. Still some work here for Who's Hammer to bring this round back into their hands. Paul with a potential backboard opportunity here. Looking at the options, he could push his own up or go up the center lane. Little bit trickier going through his own, but it's a clearer line. Going up the center lane, he wouldn't have to deal with his own, but it is a tougher angle. Looks like that is what he's opting for. And Paul drains it, gets the off too. Tied now in the 20s cup. Lots of blue on the board, putting a little bit of pressure on the Holy City Flickers. Ben now, potentially looking for the double. Just need to clear off some blue from the board. Not quite the double, but now two red discs in the 15. Up by 15 points on the board. Ron will be looking for some kind of 20 opportunity, and he has to be careful not to take off his own discs. At this point, every disc on the board matters. Gets the off and demotes one of the opponent's discs down to the five. Still not a bad spot for the Holy City Flickers. 
if they can get this off in the 15 and not leave Paul with an even line. Almost gets a 20, but skips over the 20 hole. Ron suggesting an angle in for Paul. Paul will opt instead to go from the outside. Might be able to roll into the 15 from there as well. Considering the options, looks like he'll be going up the right side for that angle in. The 20 is critical at this point. Not quite the 20 goes up in the 15. And Ben with a 20 sealing the round. The first two points will go to the Holy City Flickers. We get a view of this nice angle in from Joe. Ron with his peg action here for a nice 20 playing it off cool. And Paul, nice shots around the board from everybody. Ben here with that final angle in to take the round. And two points into his hands. We go into the second round now. Holy City flickers up. 2 nothing. Joe sinks the open 20. Paul to follow. Taking his time with his shot. Drains the 20. Both teams very proficient in their 20s game as we had seen through the tournament. If you haven't seen the quarterfinal already of the Holy City Flickers versus the Cheeky Buggers, go give that a watch. Back now to Paul. Drains to 20. Whose hammer is it in the quarterfinals? Beat the Glitter Kitties. The Tracy Brothers, Reed and Nolan Tracy to get here in a very close match. Joe! The first one to miss. And who's hammer with the hammer advantage now, in case they were wondering. To shoot. Paul potentially for a 20 here. Not a gimme, but certainly there. Paul taking his time with his shot and gets a touch. Very nice going up in the 20s cup. With hammer advantage. Ben going a little bit long. A bit congested. Up Ron's left side of the board. We'll see what he's able to do. At the very least, looking for an off. Very nice placement. Not leaving Joe with a lot of options. And never mind. Take the mic away from me. That was a beautiful 20. Tying it in the 20s cup. Two discs in the 10 for each team, respectively. Ben now to shoot. We'll see what he's able to do. Gets the off, leaving his between the pegs. Not at all a nice spot for Ron. Looks like he'll be coming through the middle. They have hammer. And if they're able to take this up, they will have two discs on the board. In a very nice spot, Ron. An unfortunate miss. And an unusual one as well. Still not in the worst spot. Joe might be going for another tap up. Doesn't quite get it. But also not leaving his discs in a horrible spot. Not giving Paul a lot to work with. Now Paul and Ron, they do have hammer. So they don't need to make a lot happen here. Nothing too crazy. Looks like Ron is suggesting that Paul go through the center to maybe... Leave his in the 15 and knock one off. They'd be up five points total. Looks like Ron will be opting to go from the outside. Leaving it in not a very nice spot for Ben. Having to go through Hogan's alley and an unfortunate miss catches the pegs. The round back in Ron and Paul's control. Ron getting the off. Two discs on the board for blue. Joe needs to make something happen here. Doesn't look like he has an easy angle into the 15. Might be looking to catch a peg on his way in to make something happen. And not quite leaves it out in the 10. Paul perfectly content to leave play on the outside. Given that he gets the off, which he does. Back to Ben's shot. Second last shot of the round. Definitely looking for something big here. Needs the off. And a 20 to make Ron shoot. Ron now. Sealing the round. 2-2 two, two now. Paul with a very nice touch. And this beautiful 
going through his own. Joe here getting the 20. Very nice shot. We're into round three now. The score is 2-2 and Paul to open. Holy City Flickers will have hammer this round. Paul drains the 20. Ben going a little bit long. Not a very nice spot for Ron. Most likely looking for the off, which he gets. Being up a 20, whose hammer is pretty comfortable. Whose hammer does not have hammer this game. Which I'm sure somebody let them know. Paul going for an off. We'll see what happens. Gets the off. Again, not leaving a great spot for Ben. Ben and Joe, although they have hammer, do need to either draw a mistake from Ron and Paul or convert a 20 somewhere, but no options opening up as of now. Paul most likely go for a hit and stick to leave his disc in a not great spot for Ben. Doesn't get the off, but not an easy spot, and Ben fumbles that shot. Ron now to go for an easy hit and stick, leaving two on the board, up in the 20s. Joe attempting a double, not quite getting it. Now Paul most likely again happy to hit and stick here. As long as he gets off, they can keep this play on the outside. Ben now, a little bit of a push, maybe hoping to create an opportunity for his partner across the board. Ron rolls away, only giving Joe the one disc to work with. See what he's able to do. Most likely be looking to carve up. Pushes to Paul's side of the board. Paul could come in, maybe not the smartest thing to do unless he really, really likes a 20. Ron pointing for some suggestions. Looks like Paul will be staying on the outside of the board to make the Holy City Flickers look work for it. Looks like he's pointing at the double, which he'll be going for. Maybe carving into the 15. Very nice. Breeze is past the 20 hole, but now play is back in the center. Ron will most likely be looking to drag play back out, which he does, but lines up what looks like could be a very nice double for Joe. Joe gets it and brings play back to the middle. Very much needed shot. One shot left for each player around the board. And Paul! Beautiful shot. Bounces off a few pegs. Going up two 20s. Ron just needs a valid shot and to not leave it in a very nice spot. I spoke too soon. If Joe can score this 20, they will tie this round and just misses. This round will go to whose hammer is it bringing the score to 4-2. We see that nice roll in from Joe and this crazy 20 from Paul, which all but sealed the round. Playing it off cool as Paul always does. Ben to shoot first. Whose hammer will have hammer. So in a nice spot here. Ron just keeping his disc on the board. Play on the outside now. Paul most likely content to keep it out here for now. Unless he really sees something. Which I personally don't think there is anything there. Just opts to stay on the outside. Making Ben work. To come back into the center to create an opportunity. Joe suggesting they potentially hide. It's very early in the round, so wouldn't be a horrible option. Just a debate of whether he really likes that roll in or not. He does have to be careful because you cannot leave Ron with anything like that. Most likely to convert to a 20. Looking as options here. Most likely a touch 20, but we'll see what Ron is able to do. Ron to shoot now. No 20, but doesn't leave a lot of options for Joe either. Also with hammer, so not the worst thing here. Joe giving it a push, but not to where he wanted, leaving Paul with an opportunity here. 
see if he is able to convert, and he does, scoring the 20, having the hammer advantage, and up a 20, whose hammer is in a very comfortable spot now, Ron with a heavy hanger, and just misses it, it may be a touch 20 opportunity here for Joe, doesn't get it, but does get the off, Paul now, most likely just looking for the takeout. It seems like that is what Ron is suggesting. For those of you watching, this match will be muted so you won't hear the little bits of chatter. I will do my best to keep you tuned. Ben trying to roll in, leaving it between the pegs. An easy takeout for Ron. Also not leaving it in a great spot for Joe. Certainly no opportunities here. No easy opportunities. Pushes a bit far. Play back on the outside of the pegs now. Paul content to hit and stick. But perhaps a roll-in opportunity for Ben here now. Which they certainly need. They needed that and they got it. Ben going off the pegs. Getting a 20 back in this round now. Ron scoring the open 20 down to the last few shots. Holy City Flickers certainly are not out of this round yet. Tied in the 20s cup. Paul to shoot the open 20 now. Pressure is on and just lips out. If Ben is able to convert this, the Holy City Flickers may be in a very good position. And he does. Now up in the 20s cup. What a turnaround. Ron coming up short. Joe just needs the off and to not set up Paul. And they will have this round. The round is confirmed by Joe's beautiful shot there. We see a smile from him trying to play it cool, but he knows he just won the round. Very amazing shots. We see some highlights. Great shots around the board from everybody. The Holy City Flickers were in a tough spot there, but because of this beautiful shot here, as well as Joe's shot, they take this round, bringing the score to 4-4. This is a race to nine, so still a long way to go for both teams. Ron opening with a 20. Joe going long. Paul now to shoot. Doesn't get the off. Holy City Flickers having hammer in this round. Need to make a little bit happen. They're stuck on the outside there. Whose hammer is up a 20 at this point. So, little bit of pressure on the Holy City Flickers. Joe hits, keeps his on, doesn't knock his own off. Paul might be looking for a double here, but not looking for anything super crazy. Nice double from Paul. Pressure now on Ben to bring play back to the middle. An unfortunate setup for Ron now to convert. Doesn't get the off, but now creating a 220 advantage. Joe coming up short. A few options for Paul. There's no pressure on who's hammer at this point, even with the two opponent discs on the board. And despite not having the hammer, they are in a very good position right now. Gets the off. This is a little bit tricky for Ben. Ben. Catches his own disc. Doesn't get the off. Ron now to shoot and gets a 20 in a dominant position right now. Holy City Flickers will need to make something big happen now. With just half of their shots remaining. Joe and Ben taking a second to consider their options. With their own disc in the way, there is no clean off. And they also need... 20s right now lots of consideration here now we have seen some crazy shots from Joe so we certainly cannot count him out of this here tricky situation but most certainly doable lining up now going for that thin cut gets the off but leaves Paul set up most likely a backboard 20 from Paul now to take the round which he gets now up four 20s. Holy City Flickers not out of this yet, but tons of pressure on now. 
Ron doesn't get the 20, but no stress. Joe gets the off. Paul now with another 20, and I believe that seals the round completely. Ben coming up short. Shots at this point inconsequential. Ron opting not to take the 20. Joe missing those last that last shot. Paul might be going for another 20 here just for the practice. Pad the 20 count. Very nice from Paul. Final shots here. Gets a nice 20 to end the round. But this round will go to whose hammer is it? We see Ron with a very nice touch 20 there. Paul with a backboard. Tons of 20s this round. We see this last little nice bump up 20 from Ben. Joe now to open. Who's hammer? Will have hammer. I feel like I have to answer that question every round just so they know when they're watching. <laughs> Paul to shoot. We'll see what he does. Doesn't get the off. Leaves his on. Joe looking for most likely just the takeout, which he doesn't get. Catches a peg. Ron with some not great options. One posted nicely against a peg here. Thinking he might be able to get it off. Or go for a shot that Joe did earlier. Hit off the opponents and bump his own up into the 20. See if he's able to do this. Not quite. Goes past the 20 hole. Still got the off. In a decent position here. Joe, looking at his options, might be going through, looking like he's opting for Hogan's Alley. An unfortunate miss. Hit his own on the board, leaving an open board for Paul. A very unfortunate shot. Paul now to take the open 20 and just misses. Now leaving an opportunity. The door is open for Ben. Not exactly a gimme, but it is most certainly there. We will see if he is able to convert, and he does. Gets the touch. Ron now to shoot. Getting an open 20, but a bit of pressure on now. Joe. Maybe with a 20. Doesn't quite get it. Looked like he opted for the angle instead of the backboard. Maybe didn't quite like that. Might be a bit further than I can see right now. Paul looks like he'll be going for a push to get a 20 of his own, and he gets it. Paul Brubaker, nice shot. Going up in the 20s count and with hammer. Tons of discs on the board, whose hammer is very comfortable right now. Ben catches a peg, doesn't get the off, leaves his own in the 15. Ron now happy to just get the off, being up a 20 and four discs on the board. With the hammer, very comfortable position. Joe looking for something big here. Looks like he was pushing to get maybe a double there. Sends his flying projectile items in the air. Looking for that lost disc now. Waiting for that to return before play resumes. Players having a little bit of a laugh. Paul with an open shot now. And ups the 20 count going with a 2 advantage in the 20 count now. 3-1. to one. Ron most likely content to stay on the outside here to make Holy City Flickers work for it. Joe angling in, going past the 20 hole. Paul now, again, happy to stay on the outside. Make the Holy City Flickers work for it. They are not out of the round quite yet with a few shots left, but they certainly have their work cut out for them. Ben... Misses. Unfortunate. Hitting the peg and going off. Leaving Ron with an open board, which now seals the round. Whose hammer will take this next round, bringing the score to 8-4. Last few shots from players. Ben trying that shot again. Getting the off and coming to the 15. Ron going through his own. Saying, good game. Ron is confused. <laughs> Ron thought it was a race to seven, but no, we are in the semifinals now where the big boys go to nine points. Still some work to do, but Ron is in the winning mindset for this final round. We'll see what happens. 
Paul to open for the teammates of whose hammer is it watching at home? It is a Holy City Flickers hammer. Ben leaving an opportunity for Ron here. Bit of a backboard 20. Ron opting for the far side and gets the touch. Very nice. Not quite the off, but very nice shot. If Joe can convert this 20, just drops in. Holy City Flicker is still not in a bad spot. But Paul might be able to put the pressure on here if he can get this 20. Catches the pegs. Unfortunate. Ben now can put a fair amount of pressure on whose hammer if he's able to score this 20. Takes away the opportunity from Ron while scoring a 20 of his own. Going up in the 20 count. Ron trying a touch. Doesn't quite get it. Doesn't get the off or the 20. Holy City Flickers in a very comfortable position now. Up in the 20 and with hammer advantage. Paul might be lining up for a double here. No. Tries to angle in. Skimming over the 20 hole. Ben asking what the situation is. Being up a 20 just needs the off, which he gets. Not leaving a lot of options for Ron. Debating that outside disc. Although it looks like it'll be a lot easier for Paul to come in off that one. Unless he is simply looking to hide on Joe to draw a mistake. Which wouldn't be a bad option. He can either hide oh, or go for that other one. Looks like he'll be going for the hide. I stand corrected. He peels into the 15 bringing play back to the middle. Looks like Joe will be simply trying to keep it away. From any opportunity for Paul. Paul opting for that far disc. Gets the off, leaving his on. Not necessarily an easy shot. I stand for corrected. That is an easy takeout for Ben. Considering his options, most likely just doesn't want to leave Ron set up for anything. As it is, there might be a thin slice for Ron there with that disc on the board. He goes through his own, taking away any opportunities from Ron. That was a beautiful shot, leaving one disc firmly between the pegs, one on the outside, leaving lots of work for Ron. Ron brings it back to the 15. Looks like he might have been on line for the 20. Certainly not a gimme shot. Very good attempt from Ron, though. Joe now. Looking for an off. Little bit tricky finding a way to hit that without taking his own off. Considering his options here. They are in control of the round, but not by much. So they need to be very careful here on what they do. Gets the off, catches a peg. Very nice. Two discs now on the board. Up a 20 and with hammer. Whose hammer needs something big to happen here. Paul to shoot, taking that one off. Looks like he might have been pushing for a peg, which he doesn't get, but leaves his in a very nice spot. Ben now to shoot, taking his time to consider this shot. Again, he needs the off, and he needs to not interfere with his own disc already on the board. Most likely going over the hole, it'll be a strong drive to knock that opponent disc off. And hoping not to leave any opportunity for Ron. Almost got the follow through 20. But leaves a backboard for Ron there. Ron drains the 20. Getting the Who's Hammer team back in play. But Joe scores an open 20 of his own. Now up in the 20's cup still. Ron pointing out some of the pegs that Paul might be able to catch. It is Hail Mary time. Paul looks like he'll be going for a bit of a push for that further peg to get the 20. Not quite. Pushes through a little bit, but doesn't get to the peg. Down to the final shots. If Ben can get the off and not create an opportunity for Ron, they will be in a very good spot. Unfortunate shot. If Ron can drain a 20 here, the pressure will be on. And he does. Tied in the 20s cup. Final shot. Very tough spot. Joe cannot settle for the tie here. He needs to win this round. So at the very least, he needs to keep his in the 15. Un.
fortunate shot, which means Ron and Paul win this round and the semi-final match. Congratulations to whose hammer is it? They will now go on to the finals match to play whoever wins between the Canadian cue balls and the power flickers. Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson versus the Beerling brothers. Stay tuned as that match will be coming very shortly. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of the U.S. Open Crokinole Championship Tournament. And we will catch you later. Make it a great day.